firefight near Mosul. Peshmerga forces advance, fighting house to house with ISIL. It's close quarters combat as the Kurdish fighters push on with their advance. This is the southeastern front, and these are early days in the offensive to take back the city of Mosul from ISIL. Slow progress is being made. The president of Kurdistan's regional government came to visit his troops on Monday as this front is under the command of the Peshmerga. This is the first phase of the Mosul operation. It started from the east and southeast of Mosul, and it's a joint operation between the Peshmerga forces and the Iraqi army. We also thank the coalition for their help. American soldiers are here too. We saw them operating in a supporting role during the day. This is the Al-Khazar front where the Kurdish Peshmerga early on Monday morning launched their offensive against ISIL. Uh, this is the east of Mosul trying to push them out of these villages. Now we've seen real intense barrages of artillery and machine gun fire from the Peshmerga positions here into these villages. Now ISIL have held them for quite some time. Some of them have been taken back. Some of them are still in their hands. It is not an easy fight. Away from the military challenges, a humanitarian crisis on a massive scale. The UN says up to one million people could flee the city of Mosul once the fighting intensifies. And they would be pouring into a system that is overstretched, hosting hundreds of thousands already. NRC is currently preparing for massive waves of displacement coming out of Mosul. We are expecting in the first several weeks up to 200,000 individuals and total around 700,000 people fleeing Mosul in the coming months. But as the sun sets over the Eastern Front, the mood among the Kurdish fighters is relaxed. They are just one of many different ethnic and sectarian players involved in this fight. Each of them with their own interests when it comes to the city of Mosul. Managing and controlling them, once ISIL has been pushed out of the city, may prove the biggest challenge of all. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Al Khazar, southeast of Mosul.